In this 13 Reasons Why Season 2 review, Justin will be explained. I am a recovering drug addict, so I can definitely relate to Justin's character. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yeah, for those of you who, who haven't met me yet, I am a recovering drug addict. My drug of choice was actually Justin's. I wasn't doing heroin, but I was doing opiates in a prescription form, all right? so. One of the things I absolutely love about this show, which is why I disagree with a lot of the controversy, is that it really helps you empathize with the characters. It, it really dove deep, especially into season two, and showed you more of what's going on in the character's life, what's going on in their mind, and things like that. And it's important because especially when it comes to addiction, a lot of people are like, oh, well that guy just made a choice to do heroin. Like, Justin's life was messed up. So first, let me educate you a little bit about how addiction starts. So as those of you who have watched the season, you know Justin's mom is a drug addict. So two of the main risk factors for addiction are genetics as well as your uh, living environment, right? So Justin's mom is a drug addict. So if Justin has the addiction gene, he has a 50% chance of becoming a drug addict or an alcoholic himself. But when you are raised by an alcoholic or drug addict, the chances are 80%. That's right, people, 80% that you will become a drug addict yourself. So for lack of better words, Justin was screwed. So there's three main reasons why people drink or use drugs, okay? One, two, three, all right? To get a feeling, to get rid of a feeling, or to have an escape. So if you look at Justin's home life, living with an addict mom who's with an abusive boyfriend, like he was looking for an escape or he was trying to get rid of feelings. That's why he ended up turning to drugs. Now, in season two, Clay and Tony go to find Justin because they want him to come back and testify against Bryce for what Bryce did to Jessica, all right? so. One thing that I hope you all learned from this, if you are a young person, uh, like thinking about, you know, doing drugs or anything like that, like be warned, be warned. Like right now there's an opioid crisis and like that detox scene with Justin, like, or the multiple scenes, very, very real. I can attest to it because I went through this, all right? The stomach cramping, the random puking, crapping yourself, like it is not a good scene, okay? So like, I hope this deters some people from actually doing it, all right? And I'm glad that they showed how brutal it was. Like, the creators of the show did an amazing job just like, like showing how intense some of this stuff is because it's real. It's very real. And I think that's why it makes so many people uncomfortable from, you know, uh, what happened with Hannah at the end of season one to what happened with Tyler in season two. Like, they show this stuff really, really well. And hopefully it makes you not glamorize this thing and think and know that it's a bad option, all right? So the next thing I wanna talk about, and by the way, leave a comment below if you want me to make a video about why Clay is the absolute worst this season. So Clay is treating Justin like garbage. And this is, this is something that happens all the time. Like Justin's like, why can't you stop? Why can't you just do this? Why can't you just not do heroin? Like we wish it was that simple. We wish it was. And I'm kind of glad that Justin was like sassing Clay. Like, man, like, that is the bane of our existence. There's people in our life not realizing that if we could just turn this thing off, we would. You know what I'm saying? So then let's talk about Justin's overdose in which uh, Alex had to come save him. So Justin was doing well, you know, he'd already detoxed, he was doing okay. And then he goes and he tries to like posture up on Bryce, all like, yo, I'm gonna take you down, Bryce. And then Bryce just completely demoralizes him. And at that point, Justin then goes to class and he talks to his dude, he's like, yo, do you got anything? And the guy's like, yeah, but it's like really strong. And Justin doesn't care. Like, this is the way the disease of addiction works. Like, you get to a point where you wanna get rid of these emotions and feelings and thoughts so, so bad, the risk does not even matter. And like, that's the thing with drug addicts, like, I used to always tell people, no matter what you thought of me, no matter how terrible of a person you think I am, like my brain beats me up worse than anybody else's. So Justin was facing like this external scrutiny, right? As well as the internal scrutiny. And that's what led him to overdosing and using the stronger dope, all right? Now, 
Um, some of you might've come here to hear what's going on with Jessica. Now, I might do a whole nother video on Jessica because she struggles with PTSD after what happened with Bryce, and that's definitely a mental health topic that we should discuss. So I might do a video on Jessica. But anyways, as far as the relationship with Jessica and Justin, I don't know if they're gonna get back into an actual relationship. They just kinda, you know, did a little hookup. But here's the thing. I work at a rehab and, not, and I'm in recovery, and they always say, don't get in a relationship your first year. And the reason is, Addicts are extremely, extremely emotionally fragile, right? Like it is hard enough to stay clean, but if his relationship with Jessica wavers in the slightest, he might turn back to dope really, really quick. And Jessica has a lot of stuff she needs to work on, you know, especially the fact that she's not even sure what's going on with Alex, you know? So like, I don't know if they're gonna have a season three, but I would love to see more of what's going on with Justin. Like, you know, we talked about going to meetings, he's lying about staying clean because he's obviously still using. So it's it's really interesting. And I I deal with clients all the time who, who do this, they relapse and they feel guilty, they feel ashamed, they lie to people. Justin was adopted by Clay's family. Like, there's a lot going on with Justin. But anyways, I hope this video helped explain Justin's character a little bit better, help educate you a little more about addiction. Like, I have a ton, a ton, a ton of videos about addiction if you wanna learn more. I even have a video I'll link up here about my personal experience with opiate withdrawal, all right? But anyways, like, I would love to know your thoughts on Justin's character down in the comments below. Feel free to share this video with a friend if you guys are watching 13 Reasons Why. Uh, I would love to know all your thoughts, all right? Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, not only do I make videos about addiction, but it's all about helping you out with your mental health, click that little round subscribe button. And if you've missed any of my other 13 Reasons Why videos, boom, I got a whole playlist right there. Go check it out, all right? So thanks again so much for watching. Decrease the stigma, and I'll see you next time.